Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How are you doing today? Well, if you are Jennifer Lopez, baby, you just got done getting your dream wedding on a plantation. Now, listen, we'll talk about that in a second because, ugh, how? But let, let's also talk about what happened leading up to the wedding and the weirdness about close friends and family not attending. Now, check this. Jennifer Lopez is one of her good friends, if not her best friend at one time, Leah Remini didn't go. Ben's brother didn't go. Ben's father didn't go. And then just to make sure this is an episode of The Omen, Ben's mother slipped on a dot, cut her leg and had to be rushed to the hospital a few hours before the wedding. Now, thank God Ben's mother is okay, but y'all, we gotta talk about this wedding. And basically when they asked his uh, Ben's father for quotes, he said, what are y'all talking about? Jennifer is the love of Ben's life. We never, ever, ever, he's never really talked to us about her. Moreover, the reasons that Leah Remini and Casey Affleck wasn't there were complete BS, at least in my opinion. Y'all, let's get into this because again, People have been hearing it is trouble in paradise for Jen and Ben. And just because you had that pretty lavish wedding on Ben's plantation style house, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Yeah, it's still not stopping the rumors and the whispers. Y'all, let's get into this. But before we do, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you look at my viewers, I made them live. I'm almost at 100,000. I really, really appreciate if you guys could help me get over that bridge. Also, what else? Oh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta recap is up if you guys are into reality TV. And this is going to be a semi-heavy upload day. So make sure you kept check back often. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so where should we start? Let's start at who didn't go there. Now, all right, let's start with Leah Remini because this is the one that surprised me. Leah Remini was actually there when Ben and Jen became official and came out as a couple the second time around. Not only that, they credit each other as if not being best friends as really good friends. Now, they do still follow each other on Instagram, but Leah did not attend her wedding. Now, I know what y'all saying. Jennifer gets married a billion times. Maybe she'll catch the next one. But let's not forget that Jennifer said this is the love of her life. It's 20 years. She's pined for Ben for the longest. As far as Jennifer's love affairs go, this is a pretty big affair. And this is the one she wanted more than anything. She even took this man's name as soon as they are married. Like, this is Jen's one. But look at this weird excuse that Leah gave her. She said that she wasn't there to celebrate um, Jennifer's wedding to Ben in Georgia on Saturday because she was trying to be a good mom. According to TMZ, the actress was spending time with her 18 year old daughter, Sophia, who was about to head off to college, although she was reportedly invited. She wanted to stay as close as possible to Sophia as she could. And I said, mm, sounds good on paper, but Sophia is 18 years old. And since this is your BFF and her once in a lifetime wedding, I'm sure Sophia got an invitation too. This sounds really strange that your best friend, right? And her 18 year old daughter <coughs> could not even fly down. These people are rich, mind you. Leah's rich. Jennifer's list, Rich, it's Georgia for God's sakes. You can literally fly in for one night and fly out that same night or same morning. Again, anything's possible, but why didn't you and Sophia go to the wedding, right? So then I started doing a little digging and being like, wait a second, was Ben's dad even there? And that's when I found this bombshell interview, y'all. Ben's dad gave an interview and dragged the mess out of Jennifer's relationship with Ben and literally busted up that whole fantasy about Jen being the one that got away, saying Jen didn't even really matter to Ben that much. He never talked about her. And this is in stark contrast to Ben's last girlfriend, Anna, who he heard about all the time. Y'all, let's get into this because I got some quotes. Also, did y'all hit that like button? All right, all right, all right, fine. Let's get into it. Get this. Ben's father said he had no idea that he had rekindled his romance with Jennifer Lopez and calls claims that Ben was pining for Jennifer nonsense. And get this, he went into detail. Ugh, parents will always spill your business. Cause look at this. An interview with the son, he scoffed at the idea that Ben had been pining for Lopez for years. He said, I never heard of all that nonsense. This is in a direct interview, but he went more and said, he admitted 
that Jennifer Lopez, well, sorry, that Ben Hatton told him about his relationship with Jennifer Lopez and said he didn't even know they were dating again. Now, mind you, this interview was held as soon as we found out that Ben and Jen were engaged. He said, of course I've heard of Jen, but I had no idea about any of this. He also added he hasn't seen Ben in a lot of months, and that's probably why he doesn't know the latest on the actor's love life. Now, get this, right? I did think to myself, well, maybe he's out of the loop and maybe the family really doesn't talk to him. But he also said this. He said, I talk to my kids about their lives when I see them and they share with me what they want to share. I haven't seen my kids in so long. What with the work and COVID? However, he still does talk to both of his children and Ben's mom, who definitely is super close to Ben, he counts as one of his best friends and says they talk all the time. So I did a little bit more digging and I was like, okay, well, maybe Ben just doesn't share his relationships with his father. But look what his father had to say about Anna. Even though Ben and Anna de Armas were not together for that long, right? Ben Affleck's dad gave an exclusive interview and said he can't wait, wait to meet his splendid girlfriend, Anna de Armas, and is very proud of Ben's sobriety. So you don't know anything about Ben dating Jennifer Lopez, nothing about him pining for her. Even the engagement came as a surprise to most people in the family. But Anna de Armez, you've heard great things because listen, he went into detail. He said, and I quote, I haven't met Anna yet, but I'm looking forward to it. From everything I've heard, she's a very splendid woman and I'm glad they're together. So Ben was singing Anna's praises, but he ain't even bothered to never, he, ne you never heard in all the time in 20 years, even though Jennifer is always like Ben's the one that got away, you never heard Ben talk about Jennifer, say anything about Jennifer, not just to you, but to his mom. You and Ben's dad and his mom are super tight, so they would uh, know about it. She would talk to him or to anybody in the family. Yeah. And look at this little sketchy thing about the way Ben said that he told Jennifer Garner and the kids about the engagement. Listen to this. They said the Argo director told Jennifer and their three children about the proposal ahead of time. Now I said, okay, I read that. And I'm like, okay, so you told them ahead of when you proposed, but look at the next paragraph that gives context. His whole family knew a little before the proposal announcement and insider notes, adding that the newly engaged duo waited a few days before sharing the news publicly they're both heavier happier than ever you guys look at the context and the way they write it to make it seem like ben told jennifer and the kids that he was proposing to j-lo before he actually proposed to her no what this says is he told them both a little uh, ahead of time his whole family knew a little before the announcement not the proposal not the engagement and what's more he proposed to her with an 8.5 carat emerald diamond uh, green diamond which he didn't just get that out of a cereal box the night before he put a lot of thought into it so you guys i say all this to say your best friend's not there your dad didn't even know about Jennifer. Your mom, there are, I'm not even gonna, I'll do that. Let me know if you guys wanna do a separate video because Ben's mom never approved of J-Lo. As a matter of fact, J-Lo can keep dressing like this good old Mormon girl, but Ben's mom looked at her and said, Hussie, I got your number because, and this was pulled out from an interview in 2002, said Chris, that's Ben's mom, doesn't understand why Ben sees an attraction in JLo either. She doesn't see anything classy about being a rapper sex kitten. She feels the same about JLo's tacky wardrobe. The kind of girls Ben grew up with as his exclusive high school in Cambridge, Mass, wouldn't have been caught dead flaunting their chest and derriere like JLo does. Moreover, she refused to give Jen and Ben's, this is in 2002, romance her blessing. And she said us to think that Jen might actually make Jennifer Lopez his wife. The source says Chris feels J-Lo will never live up to Ben's former girlfriend, Gwyneth Paltrow, because she has no class. Again, this is before she met Jennifer Garner. They were super tight. We know she thought Jennifer Garner was super, super classy. Now listen, this isn't to 
disparage Jennifer in any way. Moms trip all the time. That's not my point. My point is that something isn't adding up in this love story that ended up with a wedding on a plantation styled house that was designed to look like a plantation style house. I'm still tripping over that one. But think about it. Ben's dad didn't come. His brother didn't come. Jennifer's best friend didn't come. Fine, maybe, but the fact that nobody even knew about the engagement in the family until after it happened, the fact that Jennifer's, uh, Ben's dad is like, huh? What are you talking about, Ben's friend? That's nonsense. I haven't heard of We never hear about Jennifer. But yet, Ana de Armez, somebody he dated for a year, everybody was singing the praises. You guys, again, even his brother, let's talk about that, didn't show up for the wedding. He also missed the wedding because of parental obligations. The wedding was on a Saturday and you guys are rich enough to take your kids with you. Your brother is getting married to the one that got away. A 20 year love story that he's been pining over and you don't even think is important enough to show up to. Y'all, listen, and to be fair, I will say this. Ben's brother posted this. It was a sweet tribute of them walking back in the day and said, good things are worth waiting for. Here's the twist and turns, new beginnings and finding new reservoirs of old love. Welcome to the family. Get ready for some real dysfunction. Kidding. I am kidding. Jen, you are a gem. We love you so much. Listen, this was a sweet post. I'm glad he couldn't bother to be there at the wedding, but he actually gave her a shout out. But I will say this. I think there's some truth in what he said, Jen welcome to this dysfunction because again my i never doubted that jennifer is utterly obsessed and devoted to ben affleck but i will say this can we honestly say the same for him or is this just a repeat of 2002 where jim ser jen serves a purpose and when she's done serving that purpose he will walk away from her and she will twist herself in a pretzel to become everything he needs and wants and when he doesn't want her anymore he walks away it is ben's mo with jennifer i hope to god i am wrong on this one but from ben's side Something is rotten in the town of Townsville. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, Jennifer's not in question. Ben, yeah, something's just not adding up. Let's see what happens. This is exact, again, I can't say it enough. This is exactly thing that happened in 2002. The only thing is Jennifer was smart enough to get Ben over that altar before he got cold feet again. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.